hello, hello. Hey, everyone. It says we're on. Hey, Ed. Ed, Ed Kirkpatrick, how are you doing? There's uh, quite a few in here already. It's always fun to log in and see that everybody's talking uh, amongst themselves and all that. So, um, hey, any am. And uh, like I said, it's always fun to log in and see everybody talking amongst themselves and things like that. Um, we enjoy that everybody can do that. I see that Ed's in and Evan's family homestead. Glad to have you all. Uh, Rodney and Betty Jean. Who else do you see? Uh, Paula, Rebecca, um, we, Susan Wolf. You got your phone. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the... I'm, I don't know how you can read that. I have good eyesight. That's true. I think my LASIK is starting to fail me because everything's been a little blurry here lately. Hey, Wobbles Outdoors, Francis Bolin. David, 22. I think that's what it says. How are you doing? I'm trying to look over here at the iPad. Carrie in from Garland, Texas. All right. We got people from everywhere. We got 37 in here. That is uh, awesome. Hey, Lance from New Zealand. Whoa. Thanks for Thanks for joining <laughs> us. You're... You maybe get the furthest away award. Yeah, you're furthest away at this point. <laughs> hey, Narrow Way Farm up north in Kansas. Um, Robert Lee from Jacksonville. Yeah, Paula, mine was 100% um, guaranteed, so I can have it again. Um, I just don't want to right now. <laughs> hey, Khaki, Khaki 64 from Kentucky. Uh, Brenda from Arizona. Sorry, we're just trying to say hello as people come in, but we'll have to move Rebecca on. Rebecca Stanley, Southwest Indiana. Robin Allison, thanks for stopping by from Canada. Uh, Rose Black from North Carolina. Yeah, so that's really exciting. People from everywhere. Um, Whoa, a foot of snow, David 22. Where'd he say he was from? Uh, I don't think he said. I hope we get a good snow. If you guys saw our video yesterday with our persimmon prediction, prediction I love the snow. Um, I don't know that I would want to live in it 24-7. I think it would be cool, but Mazzy would absolutely hate it. But we love snow, and what we love about Oklahoma is it comes, it's pretty for a little bit, and it goes away Scott Brum. <laughs> yeah, Scott, if you if you have animals to feed in the snow... That's what Gary always I says. I agree with you because it makes it twice as hard and it takes twice as long. But yeah. I, it's pretty, though, I do like it's fun. I do like a little bit of snow, and then I like it to warm up and be a really mild winter. Yeah. So, um, as always, we try to catch comments where you're on our phone so I can see a little bit. And then I got the iPad. Gary's got his phone. Um, if you have a question, try to put it in all caps. It'll kind of stand out and we will read what we can get. Um, as you see by the title, um, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the veterans out there, uh, men and women who have fought for our country, both past and present. Um, the thumbnail is a picture of my dad. We got him a flag for Father's Day from Brandon and Stephanie over at Rustic Woodwork and Family. They do an amazing, amazing job over there. Um, they do all kinds of stuff. So we wanted to use that thumbnail because we want to thank my dad and show off that amazing work over there. Um, if you haven't checked them out, make sure you go over Rustic Woodwork and Family. Um, they're doing flags for Christmas and they only do so many. Like two or three hundred? They do a couple hundred. I think they announced that was back in October and I think they were down. I think they only less... have... Yeah, I don't know. It was like less than 100. Yeah, so like 60 I was going to say 50. So. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, awesome Christmas presents, and they do an amazing job over there. Um, so, um, if you're on here or you're listening to it later and you are a veteran um, or active member in the military, we want to say thank you so very much. Absolutely. Also, if you're a, a veteran spouse, thank you, too, yes. for, um, for just, you know, carrying the household um, while your while your veteran was serving, and we um, we know that you know the people that we know that are veterans that that was a extra burden there as well. So thank you guys so much for your service, um, all you veteran families, yes. just the entire family. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I we think, can't say sorry. thank you enough. I think they're, someone's they're using our around. driveway as a turnaround. <laughs> yeah, they're just turning around. Um, so yeah, sorry. That was distracting. And, but uh, it's Annie, a big sacrifice all the way around. Annie Ann says she's an army mom. So again... Please the, tell your son thank you. Yeah, tell your son thank you for service. It was the entire family that was impacted there. I know Annie Ann probably had a lot of uh, sleepless nights. Um, or at least, you know, having to miss not being able yes. to see her, her son when she wanted to. So thank you, th thank you, thank you for all of your service um, to all those veterans out there. 
Yeah, so um, we have several more that has come in. Uh, Candy Lynn, uh, good evening. How are you doing? Um, Looks like it was freezing for a second. Uh-oh, did we freeze up for a second or was that the iPad? Um, that's awesome, Paula. So um, Candy Lynn, I said I saw her come in. She said um, she's a Navy mom, so that is awesome. Uh, who else did we have in here? I think I saw Ridge Life. I believe you are a veteran. Thank you. Um, you see anybody else? No, just the veterans that we know. Um, Cassie's dad, obviously. Um, Keeping it Dutch I think is served yes. as well. Um, any other YouTube friends? I don't want to start naming. Well, too I was many. gonna say if you start naming them, we'll forget someone. Yeah, but um, with Jacob. Yeah. Jacob from Sawyer Ridge Farm. Yeah, Thank he's you, a, uh, Marine, for your service and just that. Everybody out there, we, yes. we can't say everybody's name, we don't want to leave anybody out, but thank you so much, you know who you are. Yes, that's what, with anything, if we start yelling names out, we always forget someone and then we feel horrible. Yeah. And then sometimes we don't realize that people are, because maybe they don't talk about it very much or something, or, um, but yes, thank you so much. Hey, hey Johnny, he, my nephew Johnny said hi, so I'm Hey Johnny, you get a rabbit hutch, let us know. Yep. <laughs> um, so, uh, Rosa... I believe it was Rosa Black. She asked how the children are. They're doing well. They're in the other room. We told them they could come in here in a little bit if they wanted to. So, um, they're doing good. Yep. Okay. We were buffering for a second, but hopefully it's not buffering. Did they say we were buffering? No, I, it was just on my phone. So oh. Maybe. Yeah, if we're buffering, let us know. Sometimes the signal is awesome, and sometimes it's not so hot. So, um, we got 77 in. So, uh, glitching a bit. So one thing that we wanted to do tonight as a way to say thank you to all the veterans out there was do a giveaway um, for one of our hats. So one of our Walker Farm Fem hats, we wanted to do a drawing um, or a... Not a drawing. Not a drawing, but like a random uh, giveaway here in just a few minutes. Ransom, you want to show them your shirt? We'll give everybody about 10 more minutes before we do that. So... 10? Five, five minutes... <laughs> Ransom shirt right here is uh, for the uh, first infantry big red one, and on the back it says, "My papa is my hero." <laughs> so that's pretty cool. The big red one is what um, Cassie's dad served in um, what? when he was in the service. Your racing shirt—it's in your closet. You like that shirt too, don't you? One of our viewers sent him a Fox uh, dirt bike racing shirt, and he loves it. Mom, All right, so can I go show them? Uh, let's not show them. We'll show them maybe next time. Maybe. I think we showed it on that video you were wearing it in. No. <laughs> you can you can wear it next time, okay, buddy? Um. So did you say ten minutes? I like like five minutes. I <laughs> come <laughs> Um. Someone asked how the chickens were doing. They're doing great. They are growing. Um, and getting big and pooping all over the place. Just cleaned it out and it was already a mess again. So, um, they are doing great. Someone said something about they should be outside. Um, until they get their feathers, they can't be outside. Um, they need to be under that heat and they would, they just have fuzz right now. I know it looks like they probably have feathers, but it's just fuzz. Once the feathers grow in, then we'll be able to put them outside and they'll do just fine. No, Saw a big old long comment. Uh, from Ontario, Canada, they were just telling us, thank, congratulations on 10,000 subs. Thank so, you. Yes, thank you, everybody. I know <laughs> several people have said thank, uh, congratulations on 10,000 subs. Thank you so much. Um, it doesn't seem like only yesterday when we started <laughs> our little YouTube journey. And we have been very um, blessed with um, all of you guys because we couldn't do this without you. And we've also had um, some other YouTubers reach out on our behalf and help us get our word out there and help us get our channel out there. And so just a big thank you to all of those guys. Again, it's one of that those deals. There's so many of them. Yeah. That... If we started, we missed somebody because someone messaged me the other day. Hey, I gave you a, a shout out on my channel. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, I didn't, I hadn't watched their channel. I didn't know about it. And then there's others that have given us... Shout outs on Facebook and things, and I'm still trying to figure out how to work Facebook. If I miss something on Facebook that you've done or said, I apologize. Um, it really shouldn't be that complicated, but for some reason it is for me. I'm more of an Instagram person. Um, but yeah, we can't even begin because really without you, the viewers, um, 
you you guys are what make this possible. The shout outs, yes, have helped as well. But you as the viewers being faithful and um, watching and subscribing and all that, thank you, thank you. People can give us a shout out, but if you don't come over and subscribe, it doesn't really matter. So saying that, that leads us to the next hat, which we want to give away to one of our viewers tonight. Oh, did you tell them this was for veterans yeah. only? Yeah, so we've got one that we're going to do for veterans, and then we're going to do another one for viewers. So we're going to do a giveaway um, for each each of uh, you, you just veterans only and then viewers. Yeah, so Gary loves giveaways on lives. <laughs> he uh, always just says it ends up being a mess. Someone's feelings get hurt or someone doesn't listen to the rules or whatever. So we're gonna try to make this as easy as possible with the honor system. We'll give you the rules here in a second. And sometimes on the live chat, it doesn't quite line up with everyone else's. Like a comment might may become before or after compared to ours. So um, if that happens, um, we're just gonna do the best we can and we apologize. So we don't want it to get crazy or hurt anyone's feelings, but we do wanna say thank you. And so in order to do that, we feel like giving something away um, to you guys for your support is one of the best ways. Yeah, so we would love just to give back. That's all we really want to do is just um, give back something to um, everybody that has given to us, and that's all of you guys. So yes. Something's not working in Georgia? Uh, they said they have a lot of rain right now It's oh. at, in a rainstorm, so they're buffering a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, hopefully we're doing good. Like I said, the service is really good sometimes and sometimes it's not. But we're getting that new fast fiber optic internet before we know it. Yes, and I do have live chat on, so oh, yeah. I've, I've been known to leave it in top chat instead and of live chat. All. And that doesn't really work out so well, we come to find out. Yeah, so um, we're going to give this hat away. And it's just going to be with the honor system. You want to keep it? I think we have. Yeah, to we it. have no way of knowing whether you're a veteran or not. So veteran or wife to a veteran? Or the spouse. The spouse. So veteran or. or I shouldn't say wife. They no. Could be husbands. Uh, veteran or wife husband. So veteran or spouse of a veteran. Um, then we're, we're going to do this giveaway right now. So um, here's. For you. Yeah. Here's the um, rules. How many people we got in here? Uh, 70 is on the live chat. Okay, so veterans or spouses of veterans are the only ones who can guess, and it's the honor system, like we said. And when we say go, not yet, but when we say go, um, you're going to pick a number 1 through 100? 1 through 7. Yeah, 1 through 100. And um, the first one that... Wear some stop, please. The first oh. one that guesses the number correctly... Sorry, I have something in my eyeball. The first one that guesses the number correctly um, will win. You, play with you can guess as many numbers as you want. Don't go yet. Um, someone said, what about parents of military? I think, I think we should keep it to the veteran and their spouse. <laughs> okay. Just, just, just because... Um, I get it, though. Yeah. Yeah. We do uh, thank you, but we think veteran and spouse. So when we say go, you can pick as many numbers you want. The first person we see that pops up, will be the winner. Is that clear enough? Yeah. Here, you guys like my ink pen? I teach archery at our school, and I got this at an event. They made it into an ink pen. Isn't that really cool? And it's got, a, it's got real... Yeah, it's a, it's a real arrow, a real fletching, a real knock, and then they put ink pen in it. All right. Kind of cool. You pick the number, then you can be okay, the one Okay, I will pick the number... What about ex-spouse? Whoa, ex-spouse. <laughs> you know, if you were the spouse of that veteran the time they served, then go for it. So. Because you had to deal with them being gone and go for it. That's all I got to say. All right, honor, so honor system. Gary picked a number. One through 100. As they say, it's buffering. If it's buffering, um, try to refresh and see if it comes back. Is your, is your Wi-Fi good? Yeah, I mean, it's not on. Okay. You don't have any other apps running? No. So, um. Oh. We're buffering, so don't say anything right now. Rebecca says it's still not buffering. So it may be other people's internet. Um, if it is buffering, click out, come back in. So here we go. One through 100. Guess as many times as you want. First time I see this number, they win. Ready, set, go. All right. 
Paula Should Wells, we, like, guess. play some music? Not guess Since trouble. it was veterans only, 1 through 100 is probably a little much. Well, I already said it. It's all right. They'll guess it. We should ask how many vets were in here. Um, if it goes for a while, we'll say stop and we'll find the closest person. Just keep guessing. Yep, keep guessing. I shouldn't have not said that many numbers. It's okay. <laughs> Annie Ann said she can see the chat but no video. Everybody else, can you see us? Um, hand me that ink pen. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. No one's so, got it yet. A couple of you are really, really close. Yep. What was that last name? Don't say it out loud. Where'd it go? Oh. Okay. okay. We have some that are really close, so I wrote those down. Oh. <laughs> the same. Peter Gortz. Yep. You were close, and then you got it. And I, it's, I got a little thing over your name. G-O-R-T-Z, Peter Gortz. Yeah, we have Gertz around here, G-O-E-R-T-Z, um, in our neck of the woods, but... So, the number? The, yep, the number was 36, and I had written his name because he guessed, what, like 35 at first? But he guessed 36. So, um, <laughs> so I just started putting a whole bunch of numbers. So, Peter, um, if you would email us at... If, one of, if some of the mods could put this in, Gary and Cassie Walker at gmail.com. Um, if you can email us your, um, what's it called? Ad mailing address, we'll get this to the in the mail to you. Um, so, Peter Gortz, I guess is how you say it? Yep, and that's the one I see right there. Peter Gortz, 36 on my yep. phone. So 36, so um, some people are still guessing they must be a little bit behind, but we got a winner for that one, and like I said, if you'll email us, the sooner or, the better, so no one, or message us on, on Instagram, Facebook, preferably yes. Facebook, if you have it, Peter, um, just send us a message on there. It's Walker Farm Fam uh, yeah. is our page name. Or Instagram. Or Instagram, and or Twitter. If I'm on Twitter. I don't understand Twitter at all. Um, um, so yeah, everybody can stop guessing now. Yeah, We're done with you, that Samantha. one. Thank you, Samantha. So that, we just wanted to do that for... Um, yeah, the email is Gary and Cassie Walker, all spelled out, um, at gmail.com. So congratulations, Peter. And most of all, Peter, thank you for your service. Yes. And we could not live in such a great country if it wasn't for people like you. And it's an honor to be able to get this hat in the mail to you um, just as soon as possible. So thank you so, so much. Yes, I feel like that went halfway decent. Thank you, uh, Paula and moderators, for putting different links in there. So um, give us your mailing address, Instagram, Facebook, email, and we'll get that in the mail to you. All right, sorry, guys. I didn't even break a sweat. Sorry, guys, for any kind of buffering going on. I know that we were possibly in and out. I'm yeah. watching on my phone, and... Right now we're doing good, so hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, and if um, if it does buffer, sometimes you got to go out and come back in and and re and reload it. But for it to buffer on, buffer on some people's end and some other people's not, I don't know. Sorry, that's <laughs> part of living in the country. Maybe. Yeah, people keep saying it's working here in Canada. Hello. Um. So, um. We are. Um. What else we got to talk about? So, just other than that, um, normal week in, week out, family stuff going on right now. So, kids are still um, doing all their schoolwork. We're still going to work and still trying to manage the farm. Time change happened. Yes. And time change has been horrible just because <laughs> um, if you live on a farm, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you have to probably, possibly leave before, when it's dark. And then you get home when it's dark, and that only leaves you outside feeding and doing all your farm chores in the dark. Thank you, um, Anchorage Prepper. Um, we are so beyond excited about the 10K. Um, the kids are excited. Um, not any deer hunting right now. I went the other day, but we have not got to get back out in the stand much. Hoping too soon. When is rifle for Oklahoma? Um, rifle season starts the 21st. Oh, still got a little bit of time. So rifles usually when we do, um, 
most of our um, most of our hunting. Um, I do have a crossbow that I just got last year. I'd really love to get a deer with it this year, um, but it's just really hard to um, get out in the stand with three kids all the time. My dad keeps saying he'll come over and babysit um, from the porch because uh, he's still playing it safe and not going inside and things. Um, and so I'm like, it's okay, dad, I'll, I'll get time. Um, Grandma Jay, we do process our cattle. We um, actually processed one back in March. And with that beef, um, it was our reckless beef giveaway. We kept half of it and we donated the other half to the reckless saints of nowhere here in Oklahoma. And they actually raffled that off um, to a local uh, person here that actually won. Hey, two and a half acres, another Oklahoman, and Annie Ann, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad it's not on our end that it's on your end, even though I hate that. Um, but yeah, we are hoping to process some more and possibly start selling it in the future. I don't yeah. know if that's something we want to tell everybody in, about. In but. August of this 2021, we have two steers that are going to go to the butcher. And one of them is an extra, so we may try to actually... I'm getting it processed, USDA processed this time. So we may have to have some cuts to sell locally um, to, to people locally. So probably just buy the pound, like ground meat, and then we'll only keep like the desired steaks. So yeah. like T-bones, sirloins, that kind of thing. But more to, more to come on that. It's not happening right now, so it'll be a little bit. We would love to be able to do a lot more of that kind of stuff, but baby steps. Yeah. Um, Brenda, thank you so much. She's got to go cook dinner. We scarfed our food down real quick um, so that we could do this. So totally understand if you got to leave. Um, does USA processing cost more? What's the difference? Yeah, USDA processing costs a little bit more. It's like 15 to 20 cents extra per pound. So it's not a lot, um, but it is a little bit. So yeah, um, it's done at the same facility, right? So what's, what's the difference though? So the difference is um, that the light labeling on it is completely different. So whenever they give you back your meat, it just has your name on it and it says not for resale. And whenever they give you the label, it has the USDA process, USDA inspected. Um, I don't know if they have to do more sampling of the meat when it's at the facility. I don't know, but... Two and a half acres, if you got a cattle trailer that you're able to pull and work for $230... That's awesome. you got a good deal. Heck yeah. You can't go wrong with uh, yeah. anything that will pull for that. How many head of cattle do we um, have Fiona asked? So we have um, around 20 head, depending on how many cows and calves we have. Sometimes we have as few as 17 or 18 cattle, 17 mama's cows, and then we have as many as 25 at a time, counting calves. Uh, Sandra said, I can't figure out Instagram, so I don't see your Instagram post. Um, if you, if you log into Instagram and you search Walker Farm Fam, um, you'll find us. And then you can comment on pictures or you can send us private messages. It's hard to explain kind of how to work it, but I've been on Instagram a lot longer than Facebook and it's easier <laughs> to me. So Francis Bolin asked, um, what breed do we have? So we have Angus and we have um, some Hereford cross. So the ones with black, white face, they're um, crossed Angus, crossed with Hereford, but we primarily do black Angus the and one, we keep an Angus bull. The one that hurt her foot though was our last beef master, right? Yeah, she was a beef master. We had beef masters for a little bit and we got out of them and she's our last one. We had um, about six of them. Yeah, so... And so right now, I, I actually got kicked out of, on my phone of our live, and I'm trying to log back in, and it's not working. But Cassie's in on her iPad, and it's still working. Yeah. So YouTube must be going crazy Something's tonight. going on with YouTube tonight. Yeah, Annie Ann is back. Um, so whatever's ha happened to you is what's happening to Gary right now. It kicked him out. And I can't get back in. It's just sitting here spinning. So. Yeah, but it's still working on the iPad. <laughs> oh, uh, Francis Bolin has oh. Beef Masters. Cool. We really, I really like the beef masters. Uh, they're just um, when I take them to the sale barn here locally, uh, because I don't run com uh, registered, I just run commercial stock. And anything that sells here, it seems like to me the black goes across the scale and has a premium price. So that's why I was switched back to Angus. Um, primarily was just because if I'm going to raise them, I might as well get the the fairest price. Yeah. And David uh, twenty two said, when um, do your cows calve? 
So in the spring, some are spring calves, some are fall calving um, cattle. It just depends on, on which ones or you know, when we have them um, due to calf. So I put up the bull three months at a time, twice a year, and that's what um, determines whether they're spring or fall calves, just when they got bred. So somebody came back. Oh my. All right, Ransom's <laughs> got to show something. Well, you can't even get that in the camera angle. All right, Ransom, get up here. <laughs> <laughs> Ransom has to show his bear off. It's actually Bubba's bear, but he has stole it. Hello. If you guys saw our video, was that Mazzy? Was that Valentine's Day? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Mazzy wanted a what is this? A four foot tall teddy bear? No, it was it was it was this big. It was that big, and so Mazzy got a pink one. Well, then Ranger wanted one, so he yeah. got one for his birthday, I believe. I didn't. Now he has stole this and he wants one, but I told him he's gonna have to wait till Christmas. Yes, I want to get But he's like, I want one right now. I said, Well, throwing a fit isn't gonna get you one. <laughs> so he's been stealing Bubba's. Yep. Okay. Look how big it is. Yeah, it's huge. It's about a four foot bear. <laughs> yeah, it's four foot big. <laughs> how big? How many feet are you, Ransom? Uh, I'm just that tall. You're just that tall. They can't see down there. Look up to the camera. You're about what? Three foot. Yeah, I'm just like that tall. He's about three foot two, and the bear's four foot tall. <laughs> the bear. You like... told me though that you didn't sleep good last night because the bear kept kicking you. I know because I keep walking around on my bed like this on my own. Is this all by my own? <laughs> Is he I, saying I all by myself? Uh, Peter. Um. My he's Peter. Oh. Okay. Uh, he's Peter. Okay, we'll look at the watch out. Okay. Peter. Uh, Peter, we just got your message on um, Facebook. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, we'll uh, uh, we'll take Peter. care of it though. He's yeah. Peter. It's somebody that was winning a hat. So, um, can we move this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. But instead of saying like all by myself or all on my own, he says all by my own, and it's funny. No. no. Um. Are you going to go out? <laughs> yeah, and, and he said it was kicking him out of bed all night. <laughs> um, they're really soft, and you can take all the stuffing out and, like, re-plump it, right? Yeah. Um, and get it all plumped up. He's literally laying on it like a bed. That's how big it is. He's a mess. Um, he's three apples high, Scott Brum said. <laughs> um so, Cindy Duff, what's going on? She said, hello, hello. Um, any more questions about anything? Annie Ann, the uh, giveaway that you missed was for the veterans hat, um, but we still have another hat that we're going to give away in just a moment. So, yeah, you didn't completely miss it. Um, <laughs> sorry, Ransom distracted me. So, if you guys have any more questions or anything, let us know. We love answering questions. I know sometimes... It's hard to know um, all the little things about our farm. If you miss a video or something like that, or if you've just got here, I mean, we've got a lot of subs in the last week, month. Um, so if we did something on our past videos about our animals, we got cattle, quail, chickens, rabbits, um, pigs. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I don't know. I, I can't, don't know where you started. <laughs> kids. Yeah, kids. Um, so if you have questions about any of those, uh, we'd love to try to answer what we can. Um, but some of the things we're new to, we just got the quail and the pigs and the chickens during um, the craziness of life back in March. Uh, we've had, we had chickens on our um, past farm, but first chickens on this farm. Yeah. So Paula Wells asked, are we going to decorate for Christmas early? If there is any human way possible, we will decorate for Christmas. Is his early. name Gary? I yes. I will decorate for Christmas early. <laughs> Gary is Mr. Christmas because I love Christmas. It's one of my it's it's my favorite holiday by far. He and would have already decorated if he had time and the lights. He just ordered the lights today that yeah. he's been. Um, what's that? Mouth watering over no, for I don't, a while. So I've I've been wanting some C nine LEDs that. Um, that I've had my eye on for a couple years now, and they're magnetized on the back side of them. So instead of taking them, and we have a metal roof on our house. Um, oh, thank you, um, Scott Brum. Thank you, Scott. You didn't have to do that. We appreciate that. So instead of... Um, it says fist bump. All right, fist bump. Hey. That's a three ninety nine Canadian. 
So we appreciate that, Scott. Hey, Hidden Heights. Sorry hey, you guys. had trouble getting in. Um, my phone's still spinning. Yeah, and Cindy Dunn said that hers is spinning. So I think there's a problem going on with YouTube right now. It kicked Annie Ann out as well. Because it wasn't, um, it wasn't allowing anybody back in once they got out. So sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what the problem is, but we've been good on our side, not, not spinning for a while now. Yeah, I don't... Stinks, but I don't know what's up with that. Someone said no turkeys. Um, we've talked about turkeys, but I don't know if we're ready for it yet. Oh, and Hidden Heights said they've been trying to join, but it's black, so... Yeah, that's weird. Um, and they said YouTube was down a few minutes ago. Great! <laughs> that means we picked a bad time to go Alyssa live. Alyssa said that YouTube has been spinning all day today. Hmm. It's a server problem, so... Griswold's Christmas Grandma J. I'm not that far, but I did order, I think, a 250-foot roll, roll of these lights. And they've got a magnet on the back, and they're C9, so they're the big ones, and they're LED. So I'm really excited to get those in the mail. Um, I'll probably do some type of video just because I've never seen these magnetized um, Christmas lights. Um, just as, in case there's other people out there with a metal roof that wants to We're take advantage of them. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, Paula said they must be having to update. My YouTube did look different today. Um, it had stuff, it was just different than what it has been. So um, sometimes when we hit milestones, like, you know, you get things, like at 1K you get stuff and then so on. And so I wasn't sure if it's because we reached 10K and so it looks a little different or if there was a some type of update or something. Hey, Hidden Heights, it says, um, are you guys able to get in? Can you say for sure that you're able to get in? Because... I know you said that, that the screen was just black. Yeah, Claire just said that too. If uh, You mods, if you want to type in that YouTube is having a problem, if you can't see, keep trying. I mean, I don't know. Because some of them said that they can't hear anything. They can only see the chat. So. But yeah, we'll try to share whenever we start getting the decorations up and that kind of stuff. It won't be much longer, probably. Um, we sometimes try to wait until after Thanksgiving. I don't know if we'll last that long this year, but we'll give our best. Yep, Farm on Route 66 said they can't get a picture either, so that stinks. Um, yeah, Hidden Heights said they can't okay. now. Okay, you so. can see now. Okay. <laughs> so well, we, we'll try not to worry about it. We'll just keep going on, so. Yeah, we'll just. Um, just our luck. Do you we'll want to redo that one? We'll keep rolling. We, we got the closest number, so. We'll okay. That. Um, so. For the people that can see, guess what? <laughs> well, it must be in Missouri. They're they're good in Missouri. <laughs> so the um, the numbers are in your favor because we're going to do another <laughs> 10K giveaway and we're going to give away a hat. And since we're having problems on this live, we'll probably also put out a video tomorrow where you guys can also win on that. So we'll give away three hats total. One on the the Veterans Day hat. Yeah, we gave away that. We already gave away the hat for veterans. And then we're going to give this one away. And then to, on tomorrow's video, we'll give away another one. Um, not everyone gets to see the live chats and be a part of that. So we want to make sure we say thank you to those people as well. And since this has been a disaster a little bit, we'll give one away on tomorrow's video. Yeah. So we'll do our best to get everybody covered. So you want to go over the rules for everybody real quick? <laughs> yeah. So um, we're going to give away this hat. And... Um, it is for anyone. The first hat was for veterans. I know some of you guys maybe missed that, and that's okay. It's These things are not easy. Um, but anyone can um, try to win this hat. There's, it says there's 130. I don't know if all of them can hear, but um, what do you want to do it between? So we're going to do um, between 1 and 100 again. So it, you it, better be fast because... It's the very first person that that gets it between 1 and 100. Paula says 51 still watching. So on my phone, oh, that's a thumbs up. Yeah, 51 is watching. Good job, Paula. So, um, still no picture. <sighs> no, no. All right. You can't, we can't control what we can't control. I know. So if All YouTube right, so is having problems, we can't one control through, it. What'd you say? 1 through 100. Okay, let me, don't start guessing yet. Oh, shoot, they already are. Yep, don't start okay. guessing yet. Hang on a second. Don't guess. Don't <laughs> guess. I haven't wrote a number down and I saw some people's. Let me do, um... All right, Cassie, hurry up. Pressure's on. Okay. All right. I got the number now, and you're already guessing, so... All right. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> 
Guess. First one, one through 80, or one, one through 100 that, um, one through 100 that guesses the number I wrote down. Oh, uh, let's see. So I'm watching, and it's whatever comes up on our phone. We have it on live chat, and so that's what we're going to go off of. So sorry if your numbers are different than our numbers. One number at a time, please. <laughs> Robert Lee, I like I like the I like where you're coming from there, man. I really do. All right, we had somebody come through really close. Uh, <laughs> Ed Kirk Ed. Patrick. <laughs> One number at a time. Ed guessed seven hundred numbers, but he still didn't get it. No. Nope. Sorry, Ed. Man, everybody's so you're, close. You're so close. Keep guessing. First one that gets it, there's a lot of close ones. One through 100. I made it kind of hard, didn't I? Yep. I'm so sorry to you guys that it's buffering us not working. I apologize. We can still see the numbers coming through, though. Keep guessing, keep guessing. Oh. How old are the kids in birth age today? Uh, come on, guys. You can do it. All right. Let's want to give a hint because they haven't <laughs> guessed yet. It's between... It's between 50 and 100. Yeah, that's what I was going to so say. So don't guess anything under 50. Between 50 and 100 is the number that Cassie wrote down. Yeah, it's between 50 and 100. Mama, there's no Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi's messed up, too? Maybe on camera. It's probably yep. YouTube's You want to show them what you got? Yeah. I got a sleeping mask. Mazzy's been so excited about a sleep mask, so Daddy picked her one up today. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, come on, guys. <laughs> we still haven't got a winner yet. Okay. Shh. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. If you could hear Mazzy, put that number in <laughs> because she just said it. <laughs> okay, it's between... Sorry. You're okay, baby. It's between... Um, 70 and 90. <laughs> it's between 70 and 90. Somewhere in there. Oh, it's... Oh, come on. You guys can do it. <laughs> I knew this was so hard. All right. Why are we guessing four and five? Between 70 and 90. <laughs> I don't Not think they can hear close. this. There, I saw somebody really close twice. Really close, like who they get? Oh, 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 oh! Island designed. Island designed. The number. Was... Really? I don't see it. Yep. Let me see either. Yes. Island designed. Congratulations. You won. The number's eighty-one. I still don't see that. Now I see Sherry Reynolds said eighty-one. <gasps> Two winners. Okay. Six thirty-five. What time was you ate that one? It's second place. Um, six thirty-six. Yeah, yeah. Go up to six thirty-five. Okay. Okay. Watch out, Maddie. Please. All right. See you right here. I have on my phone Island Designed at six thirty-five p.m. So congratulations. Um, oh, we'll... I see. Well, that said seventy-one. Nope. Eighty-one. I okay. Know. I, it's right, right here. So I know, it. but why is it not showing up on mine? All right, done. Stop. Someone type it in there. Type stop, done, over. Number 81, Island Design. Yay! Not sure why I'm not seeing it, but Gary does. I see it. So you win this hat. Yay. Yay. <laughs> How did you get it? Okay. I did a belly flop. <laughs> so um, I was showing you guys a while ago my cool ink pen. I got, um, I coach archery at our school. And I picked up this ink pen out of shoot. I just think it's really cool. It's a real arrow, real fletching, real knock, and then they put uh, ink pen in it. So come back in five minutes. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Stop! It's over." Um. So that was fun. It took a little <laughs> longer than we expected, but that's okay um, because now, see, someone else said something that I didn't see on here either. Well, it doesn't matter. I saw it on mine, Cassie. <laughs> I did see it on yours. So we've we've got the winner, and thank you so much again. That was just a thank you from us to you, our subscribers, 
for getting us to 10,000 subs. Again, there was a lot of people that helped us out along the way, and we want to thank all of you as well. Um, all the other YouTube channels, a lot of them here local, some of them not, that have given us just shout outs and supported us along the way. Yes. So thank you so, so much. So Island Design, if you will find us on Instagram, Walker Farm Fam, Facebook, Walker Farm Fam, or the email, I think Paula or someone put it in, Gary and Cassie Walker at gmail.com. Message us your mailing address. I hope you're in the United States. And we'll get that out in and the we'll mail. And we'll get that hat to you. Um, Cassie, was your iPad on live chat? Yeah. She said hers was on live chat. Her her thing was, um, she just missed it, I think, because mine said at 635. Yeah. And then hers said at 636. So, sorry. Uh-oh, Island Design, are you not in the United States? <laughs> hey. Can we, can we mail it? Oh, Island places? Design, yeah, I can ship to Canada. I can ship to Canada. All right. No, that's not a problem, Island Design. We'll get it, we'll get it up so there, too. So many rolls. No, we didn't. Uh, Canada's fine. If you're in, like, Zimbabwe, <laughs> I might have a problem. But I know that I can ship to Canada. So you're good to go, bud. <laughs> they said yay. All right. So, um, Island Design, contact us. Let us know your uh, mailing, and we will get that to you. Um... Yeah, hey, Robert Lee, uh, he said, hook me up, love to show the love next time. So if you guys did not win, we're going to be putting out a video tomorrow. And in that video, you're going to have another chance to win. Yes. So we want to say thank you guys so much for getting us to 10K and this live chat. Um, everyone's buffering, things like that. So you got another chance tomorrow. Uh, the rules will be in the video, but probably all you got to do is comment and we'll do a random picker and contact you probably we'll contact you we won't contact you like on camera because people watch those and they try to make fake accounts and get stuff so we'll, um, we'll pick a random one and we'll contact you um somehow and get your information and then we will also um, announce it or something. announce it on a future video but we'll give you all that details tomorrow's video yeah. so just stay tuned for that we really do want to say thank you i don't we don't know any other way to say thank you than give away you know some of the merchandise that we've um, that we thought was cool, <laughs> cool enough to make it and like pay for it. So we were wanting to make like a 10k giveaway kind of fun thing, but we couldn't really come up with anything. But we got hats, so let's give them away. Yeah, and the next one will not be a live; it'll be a regular video. Yeah. So every it'll be out tomorrow. Every single person will have the opportunity to um, to try to win that hat. So yeah. So. How much are the hats? The hats are $20, $22, walkerfarmfam.com. Yeah. If you go to the menu at the top and um, select. If somebody wants to put in that um, website or down in the description, the website's in there. At walkerfarmfam.com, we have hats and shirts for sale. The hats are 22 or 24 I can't remember. I think the hats are $22. The shirts are like $19.99 and uh, <laughs> and shipping costs Sunday. like 5 bucks. Yeah. $5.90. I don't know. Um, yeah, so walkerfarmfam.com, get you some hats and t-shirts if you'd like. Um, we'll try to, um, he said Osta. That's, oh. <laughs> that's Cherokee, Cassie. I know. <laughs> I thought it said, from here, I thought it said USDA because we were talking about USDA meat a while ago. Yeah, just a little bit out of line or out of order. Um, so. What were we going to say? Um, so YouTube is still not coming <laughs> up on my phone. crazy. <laughs> it's still spinning. So I'm, we apologize if you're watching this on the replay. Um, we can't control what we can't control. There were some issues, obviously, with the server or something. Maybe somewhere. it'll clear up on the replay. Um, maybe it'll clear up. But we do appreciate everybody trying to look, get back in and stick with us. And we thank you most of all, you veterans that are out there watching right now. Thank you so much for your service. Um, our country would not be um, such a great country if it wasn't for you. And thank you for fighting for our freedoms. Um, so, <laughs> David 22, that's happened to... We appreciate you. I'm sorry. You're David 22, that's happened to me before. I was trying to win something, and I guess so many times in a row, it says you have to wait before you can put anything else in. Um, so we are, we're, we're going to try to get off by um, 7. Four Kids in a Farm is doing a premiere about their new um, livestock guardian dog, I believe it is. So, um, um, 
Sorry, I had a message pop up. Uh, so we're going to be off by there. If you guys want to head over to Four Kids in a Farm and watch their premiere, tell them Walker Farm Fam sent you. They're out in California um, doing some great things. They got four kids and a farm, and they're great people. So head on over there when we get off here and um, check out their premiere and their new livestock guardian dog. And um, as David said, I think some people might not have any issues today. You may have been with us the entire time. Um, I think it's uh, mainly when people were trying to come in after we started, and that's when the issues started to happen. So, Yeah, like I said, my um, YouTube, um, Ed just said, uh, the menu bar changed on YouTube today. My menu looked different too, so it's probably got a lot to do with it. So if you have any questions, we, we're going to stay on about 15 more minutes, and then we're going to um, call it a night. Um, thank you, Paula. So when you when you leave, if you'll click on that Four Kids in a Farm link and subscribe to them or get it ready, and then you can go over there and watch their premiere. Um, and when Cassie said that time, she was talking about Central Time. So that's what time their, their premiere is, right? Oh, it's at 7 Central. Yeah. Okay. That's probably like 5 in California. So I should probably not talk. <laughs> Cassie doesn't work with... Uh... <laughs> it is... 6.45 here is all I know, and Cass that's what I go off yeah. of. Yeah, Cassie, Cassie lives in one time zone in one world, and anything outside of that time zone, she assumes you, you're going on the same time as she yeah, is. Yeah, I'm a very sheltered person <laughs> living in my own world, and I like it that way. It's okay. So, it's in 15 minutes, whatever time that is at your place. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I don't pay that much attention to it when I'm just at home, but when I'm at work, I have to because... Um, we have people across the country that I have to work with. So it looks like we've got Ransom, somebody you coming you want to show back. them something? What do you have to show them, Ransom? What, what's this? Tell us its name. What's his name? Oh, Lizzie. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Hidden Heights. We appreciate that. Yeah, it says, um, congratulations on the 10K. Well deserved. You guys work really hard to get here and are truly kind family. We appreciate that, uh, Rachel. Um, you guys don't have to do that, but we really appreciate it. Um, there's times that we're like, well, it's been um, two days. We've got to post a video. And I'm like, ugh. Or Gary will say, well, what's the next video about? And I'm like, um, some people are just not guessing numbers. And I'm like, well, I don't know. And so us doing it together really helps us stay motivated. Your guys' nice, sweet comments stay, um, help us stay motivated. And I don't say, ugh, because I don't enjoy it. It's just, it's a lot of work. Especially we've put out a video pretty much every other day since January. So um, it's a lot of work, but we do enjoy it. And if we ever don't want to do it, we just don't. But usually Gary's like, here, I videoed, let me airdrop it to you. And then I'm like, okay, I didn't have to video anything. Yeah. So Ransom's showing you old Lizzie. That's what he calls this little guy. Don't put it too close. Um, Ranger won this at uh, Chuck E. Cheese. So now he's mad. A while ago, and he was terrified of it. And then one day what? he picked it up and felt of it, and it's really smooshy. I didn't know that. And it has, like, beads in the middle of it. And he has carried this thing around for a couple Seven. of years. Forever. We lost, old, he calls it Old Lizzie, because I bought a bunch of new Lizzies that look different, and he wouldn't play with them. Um, yeah? But we lost it during quarantine, and we found it when we were packing to go stay in the yurt. We found Old Lizzie in the back of Ranger's closet. <gasps> yes, this is what you say. Who lost? I didn't know that. You didn't want that. You didn't know that? And you were terrified? Ransom was scared of it. I went away now. <laughs> so if you guys missed it, Mazzy got a new sleep mask. You want to show them? She had made her own sleep mask. It can, and, actually, uh, can actually turn into pink. Color changes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she's been sleeping in her own made up sleep mask for a while now. Yeah. So now Daddy good. picked her up a real one today. <laughs> Yay! All right, put it down. All yeah. right, let's see if there's any questions. You guys go in there. Yay. And... No, I want to oh. see the questions. Oh, you want to see them? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit. No. Nope. Oh. Um, let's see. Paula made her first recipe for canning. Cool. Yeah, Paula. When I tried to can I, and I started canning, this was the very first year we did it, and I planned on doing a recipe at some point for one of the things that we can. And I never did get to it because it's so much work. And like for me, like the pressure's on to get the keep the <laughs> lids hot and keep the jars hot. Pour this stuff in, 
get them sealed back up, get them moved, you know, boiled for however long, put it back. So there's so many steps. I never made a video. So I props to you for making a video of canning today or whenever you did it because it's a lot of work anyway yeah. without trying to run that camera and get Gary all the did notes a really good job canning. He kept talking about doing it. I was like, I want to, I want to. But it just seemed so overwhelming to me. And then we watched a video and I thought, we can we can probably do that. And so one night, Gary said, I'm just gonna do it. I said, Okay, I'm gonna do the kids' baths. If you need help, let me know. And I came in and he had it under control and it was a lot easier than we thought, but it's still time consuming it's... and lots of steps. It's not that it's hard, it's just time consuming. Well, and we didn't really do canning, we did pickling. Yeah. That's so true. we did pickling. So pickling is different than canning. I don't think it's as hard, but pickling was hard enough for us to get started. So come on, let's go play with Sissy real quick. Go play with Sissy. Yeah, so um and like I was saying, Gary and I work together on the videos and that has helped out a lot. Some days I video, some days he videos, some days we video together. Um, but a lot of people have been asking us what kind of cameras we use, things like that. We use our iPhones and then we airdrop it to this iPad. I like um, using iMovie on this iPad the best. Um, we recently just got a GoPro. Uh, our video we put out yesterday was uh, videoed with our GoPro and we, we really liked it. We put it on the Mac and then we airdropped it to the iPad so I can edit. So working together as a team has really just worked out because it's not put the stress on just one person. I usually answer all the comments. Gary reads every one of them too. But when we used to try to both answer comments, it would get confusing. And then if we hadn't refreshed, we would both answer the same comment and then we kind of look stupid like, why did you just say one thing and then something else? So, um, so anyway. Yeah, so you st it's still not working. Yeah, it's my phone's still not working <laughs> to pull up, and I'm connected directly to AT and T, so I don't know what the deal's going on. That's okay though, because we're about ready to to end. We got the last few minutes here, um, but yeah, we we are just over the moon though about reaching that 10k mark. I Thank mean, you, Amy. I will tell my dad. It's one of those things you sit here and watch, and like, are we gonna get there? Are we gonna get there? And we finally made it. So. Thank all of you subscribers. We love you guys, and thank you so much oh, for Thanks, getting Amy. us there. Amy, she said to tell Papa thank you for his service, because remember, he's an Army veteran. He ah. he was actually drafted, too. He yes. was he went through the My draft. My dad was um, one of the last people drafted in Mays County. Um, so he and my mom had just gotten married, and they did the draft, and so had he been a few minutes later, <laughs> he wouldn't have had to go, but... Um, my mom and dad just got married and then he got drafted and stationed in Germany for two years um, after going through boot camp and all that. So um, we're really appreciate, uh, appreciative um, to him for that. So <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened. Yeah. So, um, Oh, Mrs. Hidden Heights, it, it literally, I'm his son-in-law, it took me a couple years to learn no, his I, I, humor. Well, my dad too, but I think she's talking about Kevin because Kevin told Paula to uh, can oh. chicken livers. Oh. My dad has, does have a weird humor, though, about I thought, him as well. I thought you may have known him from like the... Uh, oh, Rachel does know him. From her job or something, but he's... I'm sure Rachel could say, my dad is very quiet and seems like um, he might not like you at first, but he just is a quiet person. <laughs> um... But I do like chicken livers, so Kevin, if you want to can some, go for it. <laughs> Gary thinks I'm disgusting. I've got a rooster you can make some out of, Kevin. Ah! Yes. In our next video, <laughs> we have a rooster that we're going to be we talking about. We didn't know it was a rooster until this morning, which I didn't. You can't give it away. Well, I don't talk a whole I'm lot joking. about it. We're bad with secrets. We don't keep secrets, unfortunately. Um... All right, well, we're dropping by the minute because apparently nobody can see us. Yeah, so... It's really, hopefully YouTube doesn't think these failures, last time they had hundreds of people on their live, today they got 26. That's cool. Hey, <laughs> these 26 people either got in when they could and stuck with us, or um, or they're just really lucky that YouTube likes them. Yes, the white one. I put that on Instagram and Facebook today. Um, someone kept saying, man, that thing has grown fast and gotten big. Well, apparently roosters grow fast. Um, 
Uh, Rachel said she came across the sweetest picture of my dad yesterday. She almost sent it to me. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. I think I remember being there. Um, was it like Hawaiian themed or something? Or, or was I alive then? I remember going to someone's that my dad's did and it was like Hawaiian themed or something. I can't remember. So my dad is a preacher for those of you that don't know. And so he's done lots of weddings and different things like that. So, um, all right, well, we'll probably better get off here. Like I said, head on over to four kids in a farm, whatever time, six minutes is in your location and uh, check out their new, I'm pretty sure it's a livestock guardian dog. And because they have goats and sheeps and sheeps, <laughs> sheep, sheep and things and tell them Walker farm fam sent you. Cat, and Cassie's just out here chasing deers, <laughs> chasing deers, chasing deers. And isn't quail, <laughs> not quails, it's quail, right? Yeah. I think then that Carrie Underwood's husband's thing, chasing deers. Um, that brand anyway sorry yeah so we're gonna get off here we appreciate you guys um thank you guys for who stuck around even in the craziness and uh we'll see y'all next time as always have a great great day and god bless